Hello there guys, it's LazerBeast here. Now, if you're after something that's nice and easy to play, maybe you're coming back to the game or you're new to the game and you want to pick up a spec and just be able to go and smash straight away, well I've got three specs for you today, so let's jump in. First up, we've got the Fury Warrior. Now this spec is fairly simple to pick up, it may be slightly harder to master, but it's a fun, active rotation and it's quite fast paced, especially once you start to build up your haste. It's got a simple rotation, which doesn't really change much when you go into AoE, so you don't have to learn like two different priority systems for either of those situations. The spec's also got a reasonable level of self healing for when you're out there soloing stuff, and it's also got really good mobility, as do warriors in general. And the combination of being a class that wears plate, as well as having some really good tanky defensive cooldowns, you're quite hard to kill as well. The basic rotational gameplay of a Fury Warrior revolves around spending as much time as possible being enraged and then using your high damage abilities whilst you're enraged to get the nice bonus damage. And then the way that you do your AoE is that whenever there's multiple targets present, when you cast Whirlwind that makes your next two single target abilities also hit enemies around you. So you basically cast Whirlwind and then once you've done two single target abilities, cast Whirlwind again to get the buff back up and then just rinse and repeat. Fury brings some good utility to a group in a dungeon or a raid with abilities such as Battle Shout buffing your group's attack power by 5% and Rallying Cry to give your entire group 15% more health and some other nice utility abilities, Fury Warriors are really good to pick up and are quite easy to get stuck into but there's definitely a higher skill ceiling there if you wanted to push forward and really play the class to its maximum. So let's move on to the second spec. You may have guessed it if you know anything about the game, Beast Mastery Hunter. So Beast Mastery Hunter is the only ranged spec that is entirely mobile. It can cast all of its DPS abilities whilst fully on the move. It's got a very simple rotation. So these two factors combined make it very easy to deal with any kind of mechanic in any sort of dungeon or boss fight that requires movement. With uncapped AoE that is pretty easy to perform, all you need to do is cast Multi-Shot which then gives your pets a buff called Beast Cleave and then that means they're basically going to hit everything around them with their auto attacks. It can't really get much simpler than that. Some of their AoE is baked into a passive ability, for example Stomp, so that just means when you cast Barb Shot your pets automatically stomp the ground, just doing AoE damage around them. So again, another very easy addition to their kit. You literally just select this and forget about it. The gist of the Beast Mastery Hunter gameplay is just to use your focus well, try not to ever be capped on focus, so you're always going to be trying to use that on something useful. Use Kill Command on cooldown, so make sure you've got enough focus to always cast this when it comes off cooldown. And then you just want to be using your cooldowns, cast Kill Shot whenever it's available, cast Barb Shot whenever it's available, but make sure that you try and keep these three stacks of Frenzy buff up on your pet. That'll just make sure you're doing the most damage possible. You can even get a weak aura for this, which I'll put in the description, so it's dead easy to track rather than looking at the small icon on your pet's frames. The only potential tricky thing about being a Beast Mastery Hunter is managing your pet, so sometimes it can be a real pain in the bum to control. And the poor management of pets has been one of the things that's led to hunters having a bit of a reputation for being quite stupid over the years. So if you manage your pet properly, your group will love you. A good example of this is if you're trying to skip a pack in a dungeon, maybe just dismiss your pet before you sneak past so it doesn't run around to catch up and pull all the mobs that you've just tried to skip. There's a useful macro that I use for pets and I'll put that in the description down below as well. It basically bakes everything into one button, so if you don't have a pet summoned, it'll summon your first pet. If your pet's already summoned, it'll heal it. If your pet dies, it'll revive your pet for you. Nice easy macro. The downsides of being probably the easiest spec to play in the game is that the damage is sort of mediocre. It's never going to be the best damage in the world, but it's easy to do, so you're usually always going to perform mostly quite well. And then we're going to talk about the third spec, Havoc Demon Hunter. This is another spec that's quite easy to learn. You could say it's hard to master, but you can definitely pick this class up and hit the ground running relatively quickly, unless you're gliding down, that is. Havoc Demon Hunter is a spec that you would call a builder spender, so you're basically going to be building up your demonic fury and then spending that on higher damaging abilities. And because of this, it means you never have to worry about switching targets because the resources are all on you. Havoc has some really strong cooldowns, especially AoE cooldowns, so you can just pop off in combat and get some really good results in quite an easy few steps. So the basic rotation is to use Demon's Bite to generate Fury, cast Chaos Strike if you've got 40 Fury or more, you want to make sure to use Eye Beam on cooldown and keep your Immolation Aura buff up as much as possible. And for AoE it's basically the same, the only thing is that you're going to want to use Blade Dance when there's 3 or more targets around. Your big cooldown, Metamorphosis, is a very satisfying button to press. You're just going to basically go nuts and all your damage and buffs are going to be changed to slightly different ones that just basically do more damage. So I'll just carry on with the same rotation. Havoc Demon Hunters have some of the best mobility for a melee out there, so you're going to be gliding around nice and easy on the battlefield, getting to where you need to be nice and quickly with Fell Rush, and also having Vengeful Retreat as another mobility option. 
Have a Demon Hunter also has some pretty good utility, so you've got Blur as a nice defensive tool, and you've also got Chaos Nova as an AoE stun. You've got Darkness as a nice ability for your party, so anyone stood in there will take less damage. And the nice thing about your interruptibility is that it's got a 10 yard range, so it's longer than most melees. And as well as this, you can also generate lesser soul fragments through a talent and soul fragments from getting killing blows on enemies that will create a soul that when you walk over it'll heal you for 20% of your maximum health. So this is great for when you're out in the world questing and you also get some good benefit out of this from doing dungeons and raids. So there we go guys, those are three nice easy specs that you can jump into and get good results of quite quickly off the bat. I'll put links to some guides for these specs in the description down below if you want to dive into any of these further. And if you've enjoyed the video guys, please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more World of Warcraft content like this. I've been LazyBeast guys, have a brilliant rest of the day and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.